Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, we've been showing people how to get aim assist on mouse and key and creating configs for the community using an app known as Read WASD. Today, we're going to be expanding on a config that I created recently, right before the new season dropped. We're going to be working on the exponential config. I uh, fine tuned the sensitivity a little bit, and we're going to add a recoil combo to it because a lot of the guns in this new season have a lot of recoil. So it's going to help a lot. I appreciate everybody tuning in. If you like what we do here, think about joining and becoming a member. It helps tremendously. You can also give thanks with super thanks. That's another way to support the channel. It's not necessary, but it does help me continue to keep doing this. And it really helps a lot. I appreciate everybody. I mean, you know, just watching, liking, and subscribing is, is enough. It is a paid program, but there is a free trial if you want to try it before you purchase. All the links will be in, in the description below. The configs are always free. You'll find the configs in the description below, the Discord. All right, before we jump in, let me show you my mouse app. Just so everybody's aware, I know a lot of you already know this, but I use 800 DPI and 1,000 polling rate. And yeah, so without further ado, let's jump in game and I will talk about this config and some changes. And we'll look at we'll look at the config and rewise and I'll show you guys everything. All right, now that we're in game, we got a new settings menu. And not much has changed with the settings, it's just a different layout. Still the same old setting. So the most important ones are gonna be on the mouse and keyboard layer. You're gonna want ignore controller input off and lock input me method as mouse on. And then now you're going to go to a controller layer, and this is where all the settings are for your sensitivities and everything. Important to cut use advanced options on. This makes it where you can fine tune your sensitivity more. Here's your build mode sensitivity, your edit mode sensitivity. I have these both on 1.5. 100 look horizontal speed, 100 look vertical speed, 77 ADS horizontal, 77 ADS look vertical exponential input curve and this is a big change in the config that i did if you have trouble getting stuck above people's head then this is what you need to do you need to lower the aim assist strength down to so you don't have to lower it exactly 77 but you can lower it down until it feels good and you can pull down into the character because exponential i don't know if y'all noticed this most recent config was very strong these gun these new guns they have a lot of recoil so i lowered this to to help because because i like you know I don't like it pushing my aim above the guy and stuff as much. And the recoil combo I put in this config will also help. And yeah, so another big thing, if you're playing build mode, you need to come over here to this, this controller mapping and change it to custom. And then you need to come down to builds, you see building, and you need to clear wall and stairs. And I also cleared a uh, switch mode right here because if you're using combat pro then that 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 i have crouch binded so but but i like i like to be on co custom so i switched clear switch mode wall and stairs you just click the x on them and it'll clear them and that way when you're building the builds don't interfere and that's basically it for the settings but let me talk about what's inside rewise and show you how to change the recoil combo if you really want to all right, so now that we're in the config, you're going to come to the mouse. You click on mouse, and then right here, this is the recoil combo. It's it's on aim ADS, so every time you aim and fire, it will pull down for you. So it's on the green layer. You see it shifts to the green layer. We're going to click on the green layer, and here's our recoil combo right here on fire. So you're going to click this, click combo, and you see this value right here? Minus six doesn't pull down all that much. So if you want it stronger, you want it to pull down more, we'd lower this to say minus eight, you know, or minus 10. And that will make it pull down more. And that's all you have to do. I like it at minus six. I like to control my recoil a little bit. So I'll leave it there. Uh, experiment with this, man. It, find out what you like. Find out what's good for you. Most of the, the good thing is most of the guns in Fortnite literally just pull straight down. So there's no left or right recoil it's all mainly just pulling down 
So that's a good thing about it. It's very easy to make a recoil combo for it. This will work in builds. This will work in no builds. It doesn't matter. But that's how you change it. If you change this, don't forget to apply the config again so, so the changes take effect. And then you may even need to restart the game. I'm not a thousand percent. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do. But if it doesn't seem to do anything, then restart the game, apply the config, and then start the game again. Uh, I got some gameplay using this config. Uh, went and build, builds for a little bit and got a dub. And these are the kills from. If you want to stick around, check it out. Uh, I appreciate it, man. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you like this content. And I appreciate everybody, man.